Peace and blessings, everyone. I want to apologize ahead of time in case I get too carried away in this video. Uh, but <laughs> um, I had to make it. I, I've been having this uh, messaging going back and forth with uh, some user here on YouTube. And it started with them, they're a Christian. And as with what generally happens, a Christian will come after me and they'll point out, they'll reply to him in my video, um, I saw Jesus today or something. And they'll, they'll, they'll start out by bashing Islam and point out all the faults of Islam and Muhammad, blah, blah, and then and, and point out, you know, all the good things of Christianity. Of course, the purpose of this is, one, they're assuming that I'm Muslim, that I practice Islam, and so they want to, you know, denounce uh, my religion and then tell me how good theirs is. So they, they start off on the wrong footing. They start off in ignorance, okay? Um, and so, you know, I told them, you know, true, there are problems and issues to be talked about within the religion of Islam, as in all religions, and specifically within Christianity too. And you need to stop pointing out the faults of other religions and look at the plank in the eye of Christianity. But as usual, Christians just seem to want to ignore the problems in Christianity, whether it's philosophical problems, or historical problems, or problems the Bible, whatever it is, things that Christians have done, the murdering they have done, things of that nature. But they always want to forget that. They always want to look, look beyond that and just want to focus on the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And then they want to, you know, talk about Muhammad being a pedophile, this and that, that and this. And, and, and what got me make this video right now is I just got this reply today. Um, cause the last one I sent out, I would, I would, I had stated just that, you know, it's quit worrying about, quit pointing out Islam and focus on the truth of what Christianity has done. Quit being like most other Christians, you know, being hypocritical, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then I asked him, and why do you assume I'm Muslim anyway? But anyway, he comes back and, um, oh, he said he thought I was Muslim because I look like a Muslim. And I said, well, actually, you know, it's quite ironic because here in my city, in my town, and I've made a video about this before, people point to me and refer to me as Jesus. Little children, and that's the most important thing, little children ask their parents if I am Jesus, if I am God. And like I said, the teenagers do it jokingly, point it, say that I'm Jesus. So he comes out, um, I think it's a he, he or they come out and say, uh, you don't look like Jesus, you don't speak like Jesus, and you also can't perform many miracles as Jesus and even the apostles performed. Physically, Jesus is a Caucasian Jew with long, dark hair, dark or hazelnut colored eyes, decent beard, not too long, slim, slightly muscle body, and tall, 1.8 meters. Huh? Really? And, and, and that's a part I just find incredulous. Really? You know the exact measurements of Jesus? I mean, he said, they said, a decent beard, not too long though, just right. And then it goes on, Jesus speaks with extreme eloquence and always leaves his adversaries or other people who ask some questions, speechless and capable to answer back. You clearly don't have any of these qualities. Sorry, brother, but you are not Jesus. Okay. Like I said, we're going to start with his giving the physical attributes of Jesus. Where is this in the Bible? Please, please show me, tell me where you get 1.80 meters in height. Where, where do you get that from? From the Bible. Where do you get that from? And, and, and it, 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 it just, like I said, I just find it incredulous. How can I take you seriously in a discussion when you say such things? Like you know for a fact all this about Jesus. Hazelnut eyes. Hazelnut colored eyes. Slim, slightly muscled body. 
Where do you get this from? Where do you get this from? I believe the only description that is in the Bible of Jesus is the texture of his hair and the color of his feet. So where do you get the rest from? How can you be taken seriously as a so-called Christian? And somebody, please, please tell me what a Christian is. Please. Because in dealing with so-called Christians here, I get all these very dogma of what it is and what it isn't. So I don't even know what a Christian is. Once again, how many, how many different sects of Christianity? And yet Christians don't want to deal with that truth. So how can you be taken seriously? I mean, y'all just, it's, it's getting a point, it, it's irking me because I see you so much as a problem with this world. You Christians, you Christians, you hypocritical Christians. You, you blind, hypocritical Christians. You're hypocritical, you, you, you follow lies, you, you, don't, you have no love for truth. For as much as you speak of, you have no love for truth. Hypocrites, liars. Um, and miracles. Um, you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know if I can perform a miracle or not. So quit making statements of fact when you don't know the facts. And, and I believe there's a warning in the Bible of people coming performing miracles, right? I believe that's in there. Then at the same time, it is also said that those who believe in Jesus can perform miracles in his name. But there are many who have failed in his task. So there's a problem here, you Christians, you so-called Christians. <laughs> you, you have got to be Satan's children. You've got to be something. I'm just I'm 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 frustrated because I'm trying to figure out this world. And I was in the conversation. Um, I got some tattoo work done, and there's this uh this uh this guy. Um, his name was Dante. Um, very interesting fellow. Um, into philosophy, into religion, into and into just thinking and thought. And so we had some very good conversation, you know, just speaking of religion and, and, and things of that nature. Um, and, and so I was asking them, you know, I was, well, I was telling them, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to grasp this world. I'm trying to, I'm trying to grasp everything, um, the, the problems. I'm, I'm trying to get understanding. And I told them how, I was telling them how sometimes I even hate to make these videos in and, and and to to speak in 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 a in a voice of certainty, um, speak as that I know what I'm saying. Because I told you many times, I'm ignorant. I admit to, I admit to that. I may know nothing whatsoever. The things I tell you, the things I I say, I preach, I believe, could be wrong, or not the truth. Rather, more importantly, not the truth. I, and I admit to that. And I, and I believe that's and that's more than important than anything. I can admit to that. But then you have all these people, and I told them this: you have all these people who get up there and they they preach and they speak these so-called and these so-called leaders, and they put on this air about themselves, this confidence, and a lot of times they know they're speaking lies. And I ask, how do you, how do they do that? How do you get on there and, and speak to the masses of people, knowing that you're lying? You're smiling and doing confidence. How do Ted Haggards and things of that nature, how do they do that? How do you do that? And, and so like I said, I, I said, I don't even know if I should make these videos because if, if, I, if I start to do that, I mean, they, they say, you know, that's a quality of a leader, being able to, you know, to speak with confidence and whatnot. But if you got people who are liars, you know, hypocrites, and, and they do that, then if I do that, then I'm worried that maybe it's going to turn out that I'm a lying and hypocrite. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm so, I'm just, how do you do that? And so he's end up saying it's because in their mind they believe the means justify the ends. They know that they're lying. They know that they're being hypocrites. But they believe that's the best for everybody. So they're going to get up there in confidence and lie in confidence. And I guess I can see that. But I still don't know if I can bring myself to do that. And I, I, at some points, you know, I try to 
you know, I try to speak with competent authority. And even make this video, you know, me talking about this this interaction with this person. You know, I'll make some statements of, you know, that I might know, you know, that are definitive, but I can I at the same time can say, well maybe I am completely incorrect in what I'm saying, what I'm believing about this person. This guy this person couldn't know to have everything to have all the facts about Jesus down pat. He might notice. They might notice some reason. Um but I think there's not enough information out there to validate them knowing that, but maybe it could. But see, I'm willing to admit that, but so many other people aren't. And, and it's just so, and it's just, you Christians, you Christians, I see you as such a problem. Such a problem. Such a problem. And for you Christians, for all you Christians, I am Jesus, and you can't prove that I am not. God bless. Peace and love.